Bro. Th that, that's not, that's not the flooring. That's legit not the flooring. That's the flooring. Oh no. <laughs> that's not at all the floor. Okay, modest brown, it's not even right. We got one whole pallet of wrong wood flooring. Uh, did you order three, four pallets or what? I don't know, I just ordered 3,000 square feet. <sighs> okay, um. Look what just showed up. Uh, seven days late, but by golly, we finally got our floors. Uh, tomorrow, the movers are coming at 10 a.m., so we're gonna see if we can lay down 3,000 square feet of flooring. Shouldn't be hard at all. So this is the ECF uh, underlayment. It's the Eco Cork Board Foam. I think that's what it stands for. We're just gonna lay it down, and it says face uh, this side up. It's a, it, I got the foam one just because a little cushioning on concrete is gonna be so much better. I don't want it to be hard on the, on the knees. Lay it down, lay the flap over, and here's the best part about this stuff. Made in the USA. Let's start rolling. So this is nice, it has like a double-sided tape. So it's nice, this stuff has a, a double-sided tape on this part, so this plastic piece just goes over and doesn't move. Let's see how much flooring we can lay down before the movers come. Tyler takes care of me. He went, got underlayment, and look what he got. What a guy, huh? He's like, I know your knees are gonna hurt. Let me help you. Help you. Everybody should have a Tyler in their lives. You know what's the most interesting thing about home remodel stuff is you end up making cuts and you don't know what they're from. It's like they're mysteriously showing up. Pulls you guys. Bro. That, that's not, that's not the flooring. That's legit not the flooring. That's the flooring. Oh no. <laughs> that's not at all the floor. Wow, well, I gotta see what's in the rest of the garage. They have like a... Is there a... It says right here on the order form that you got all the cases of chestnut, nothing gray. Does this have any inkling of like what this Simply is? chestnut. And I would guess that the tan one that is is the chestnut, so this is not right. Do you think he gave us more pallets than we should have? 66, so let's go look. Okay, modest brown, it's not even right. Right? Because you're going chestnut, yeah? This one's simply chestnut. That's simply chestnut, okay. So, I can't. This is simply chestnut. Okay. That's what we need, right? Simply yeah, chestnut. Is, as far as I can tell. And then this is simply chestnut. That's simply chestnut. So you got one whole pallet mm -hmm. of wrong. We got one whole pallet of wrong wood flooring. This, oh, this just. There's a lot of simply chestnut like on the bottom of this one. Really? Yeah. This came out of state. Simply chestnut. See, this is all wrong though. All of those, modest huh? Brown, modest brown. This is all wrong. That's all wrong. Okay. That's all wrong. Okay. So let's do this. So let's start, one. I don't know how many square feet this is, so let's start installing all of this. Hopefully this is just extra. Hopefully. Oh man, one adventure after another, huh? Hey, hon. Hey, um, I got a question about flooring. Okay. So four pallets showed up. I only open up one, but one whole pallet is off of a different flooring. It's not simply chestnut, it's like a modern brown. 
which is like a gray wood flooring. Just that one piece was the right one? The no, well, 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 no, what I opened was basically off a pallet that's all simply whatever we need. And then there's a whole pallet of the wrong flooring. Can you send me a picture? Yeah. Uh, did you order three, four pallets or what? I don't know. I just ordered 3,000 square feet. Okay, um, call your people um, and then I'll send you the picture. Okay. All right, hopefully this will be enough. All right, bye. Okay. okay, let's send it in. I mean, hopefully this will be more than enough flooring. It worked out that everyone we carried in was the wrong color. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. How many do we bring in? One, two, three, four, five cases. Well, this is how I wish to have revealed it. Look how pretty these floors are, not, not those other ones. Um, we're gonna make a straight line, make sure it's straight with the room, and therefore we can start working that way and back this way, two people at once. So we laid down the first line here. It's too flimsy to move around still. So we're gonna put another row and then at that point, we're gonna center it, secure it in place and then start working our way out. Break my tools, my little tapping block. <laughs> That's a good shot. I think one more row. Because oh. the tight, the top is tight. The it's like is tight. it's like it's almost like we need to drop this. I'm gonna take that whole row out and try and sink that, and then stick it. Or what you thought? I don't know. It's weird. It's like it's not square. Right. Because it's all up against flat planks. I feel like we'll have plenty of situations like that. We're tight there. So now this one's off. I say we put it against the wall and run this. had easier installs, I've had easier installs. Part of it, I think it's how long these planks are. Most of the ones I've done were about like yay tall, they click in a little bit easier. These are a pain in the hat. We're not gonna bleep words on this channel. Beep. Yeah, bleep that one. Um, man, it's taken us a while and the hardest part was getting a straight line going because fun fact, this wall's not straight. That one's pivoting at what? Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah. But once we got it all laid down, at, at this point, we are comfortable where Tyler is going that way, I'm going this way, and we're just kind of racing to, to the finish line. Um, stay there she goes, folks. All right, so yesterday I worked till about 7 p.m. and got about a thousand square feet covered here. Today's the next day, the movers are gonna be here oh, around noon time and uh, start work on the master. This is getting a little bit out of hand. Not going as fast as I want to, but uh, there's nothing I can do but complain, but just get to work. Oh great, the movers are here. I have a bunch of bare floors. No time to talk. I underestimated this. It's taking way too much time to do this. This is not the easiest laminate form to install. The longer it is, the harder it is.
Here at Mr. Build It, we take safety very important. Even when we sweep, we gotta make sure we're wearing a PPE. Sweeping is a dangerous job. So a good proper technique when it comes to sweeping so you don't get hurt is you wanna get your feet shoulder width apart, okay? You wanna activate your core, get your hands at about two and, I don't know, five o'clock right here. What you wanna do is lean, activate your gluteus maximus, follow through, that's the most important, and then squeeze your lats. Follow through and squeeze. You don't wanna be leading with your chin, right? You wanna lead with your pelvis. Activate those glutes. Look at that. Look at that technique. Go on, you try. So it's safe to say I, uh, I could install all the flooring before the movers came. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> I don't know where things are. I've already tried to find some stuff and was not successful. So. I had to lay one pad literally for them to put stuff on. <laughs> I don't, this is, it's going to be quite the adventure. I should have taken, I need to take some blood pressure medication. This is getting out of control. I don't know. This is not fast enough. Those damn floors. Sorry. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. Everything's stressing me out. Not just the garage. I can't work. I can't move. Beer doesn't even help anymore. Well, look at this kitchen. I cleaned it and it looks amazing. And that's the funny thing is, is like, this looks like a decent kitchen. <laughs> and I have to rip this out next month. Sorry. I need a vacation. Sorry. Oh, look at this cute little patch. Everywhere, we're going to make sure we have sufficient underlayment. Even the cute little ones. There you go, little buddy. What? First try. You have two different sides you gotta kind of notch in so i try and start with the shorter end and then kind of just get it in tight as tight as i can and then come down here and get my far corner then so i really only have this wedge to get in here that edge that actually if this was a full plank it would fit right in so you're not damaging any of the pieces that you need to have slip in next and then just kind of and kind of, you can tell it's kind of raised still. So I kind of put gentle pressure with my foot and then just kind of get it to. All right, so Tyler showed you guys how the stuff locks in. Um, here's the pattern that you want to stick to, or at least I stick to. I go with a one third, two third, three thirds, um, or small, medium, large, if you want to call it. So this would be the small piece is about one third of the board. The next piece I need to cut should be about two thirds of the board and then so on and so forth. Uh, and here's how we're going to do it. So we're going to take our board, see where we need to make the cut. So everything lines up this way. We go create this quick cut and uh, we'll go from there. So here's our cut. We need this uh, two third size piece. We're going to set it right over here to install. Now this piece is the piece that I cut off. We're not going to throw it away. You re reuse it. We're going to set it on the opposite side of the wall because that's where the lock will go. And then this cut off piece, is gonna be basically our, um, you know, manipulated piece that we need to do. So, lift this up, get everything in place. Give it a firm down, and we're in. Look at it, I already broke it. Look at this, I just bought this little tapping block, and it already broke. It's like a designated one. This is why you don't need to buy no stinking tapping block, just cut off the end here, and we made ourselves a tapping block. Look at that, I even broke this board, it sucks.
update day five. That's what, three days past the moving for the movers. Uh, did not make it, of course, but day five, my goal is to wrap this up. Whew, fingers crossed we can get this done. The kitchen's gonna be left alone until you know we get to it, but for now, I, I don't wanna go to day six. Let's get this done. That is the last piece of the flooring, 3,000 square feet, five days, two guys, uh, long days. So do the math, however long you wanna make it work, but man, this is frustrating. I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> Flooring, you guys are all been asking on social media where I got it. This is a laminate flooring. It is from Tropical Flooring. The color, if you guys wanna check it out, it's simply chestnut. Uh, the color is 9014-15. And uh, I'll put the SKU on the screen or something like that or link that stuff in the description below. I like it so far. It doesn't come with a cushioning pad, but you have an underlayment that is um, like this one, the ECF, Eco Cork Foam, made in the USA, like it a lot. All in all, the project ran us five days. In terms of price, I think we spent roughly around $5,000 for 3,000 square feet of flooring, plus another $1,000 to 1200 bucks on the underlayment. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but yet it's not the most expensive stuff that's out there. So just a little bit over $6,000 to do the flooring all ourselves. Yes, it's exhausting. Yes, it's tiring, but we saved ourselves a ton of money. I'm guessing between nine and $12,000 based off a house this size. Hey, thanks so much for sitting around watching yet another one of my videos. Make sure you follow along this concrete slab house right now. We're doing a lot of fun projects, a lot of stressful moments, and we're learning a lot all at the same time saving a lot of money by doing it ourselves. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell that way you'll be alerted every time I put a video out. Catch me on my social medias. All the links will be down in the description below as well as the merch section, all which helps support this channel. Well, that is it for me this week. Tune out this week. We'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.